Enough is enough, I say. I am running for president, INTP. Ah, but politics is a spectator sport, ENTJ. Think of the view you will miss from the sidelines. Now is not the time from your cryptic asides. I must move swiftly and resolve this crisis of leadership. And I want your help. Well, I don't have much money to finance campaign propaganda. Perhaps you should approach some major lobbyists. Getting deep in their debt is your first step toward becoming our ruler, after all. In your cynicism you overlook the obvious but unstated reality that you don't need much money to run a campaign in the age of the internet. All I need to do is post a few stirring videos of me speaking truth to power on YouTube. Then the people will see what an awesome ENTJ I am and the videos will go viral. Once my support reaches a level where they cannot ignore me, I trounce those fools in a debate, and we move into the Oval Office. Well, it sounds like a plan. Why were you asking for my help again? It's the crucial matter of my initial address to the public announcing my candidacy. For my plan to work, that first speech must be beyond brilliant. It must speak to the spirit of the age like none of the petty political pontifications before it. And when it comes to a project of this magnitude, I cede my mere cunning to your genius. I NTP I need you to be my speechwriter. Well I don't know if I could support any politician in this political climate with good conscience. The trajectory of history has been so altered by decades of misrule that I fear there is no righting the ship at this point. The mixed economy of state-managed capitalism has failed. A new system must be born. Then let's tell America just that. Then you are running to participate in a system you are saying needs to end. Look, INTP, I believe in reform and new philosophical awareness just as much as you do, but somebody actually needs to get their foot in the door to make it happen. All that's necessary for the forces of evil to win in the world is for enough good men to do nothing. Yes, but what are good men to do when their core institutions were hijacked even before they were born? Do you have an answer to that in your collection of Edmund Burke quotes? Well I didn't want to have to resort to this, but you leave me no choice. You know that one of the companies under my control is a modeling agency, right? I've heard that. Well I have reassigned several of the women to work on my campaign. Interesting. You should read my essay on my theory that redheads go over the best with Midwestern voters. You don't get it. I was trying to delicately imply that these women might be of interest to you in more than an academic sense. And what has the temperature fallen to in hell that I should be so lucky? They are very well educated women. When I told them I was considering you as a speechwriter one commented that they read your blog all the time and another that they think you are the cutest little genius on the internet. Women, you say? Plural, with an E? Yes. Women who work as models. Women. With an E? I'm not quite used to saying that. Well, I suppose the system can still be reformed with the right leader. Of course it can.